When most of us think of ice skating, we think of beautiful dance routines, sometimes couples set to love songs. That's just one of the stereotypes. Our next guest is shattering. I had a chip on my shoulder, had to let it go. Cause unforgiveness keeps them in control. this all day I want to know who the camera person or the drone operator is on these videos videos like this are going viral people like me cannot get enough of these amazing routines on the ice oftentimes these are rivers lakes not ice rinks Elaj Balde is a retired professional skater who is taking the sport of ice skating to a astronomically new level hoping to fire up interest for a whole new generation and by the way a generation that includes people that look like us. Balde is the co-founder of an organization called the Figure Skating Diversity and Inclusion Alliance. He's also launching his own nonprofit, the Skate Global Foundation. Here he is, the man, the myth, and the skating legend, Elijah Balde, who, by the way, look, I had to check and find out how old he is because I think he could be my son. Um, Elijah, <laughs> I'm having hair goals with you, first of all. How are you? The smile on your face is telling me a lot. You take joy out of even seeing these videos yourself. Yeah, you know, for me, when I see those videos, it just really reminds me of the freedom I've been able to create for myself on the ice. And it's something I haven't been able to experience for, for years. So it brings a smile to my face for sure. Freedom you didn't experience, right? And so take me back to that. Take me back to what the reality was for a kid that looks like you growing up with obviously a love and a gift for ice skating. Yeah, you know, for the longest time, you know, because of the culture of figure skating, um, I was trying to fit a mold and I was trying to do that in order to be successful, but that mold um, wasn't me, you know, it didn't feel like I could be authentic within that. And I, I was in that for years and it wasn't until I, you know, started to dive within and started to realize that there's so much more in me that I could share with the world. Um, and I need to do that. And I felt called to do it. And that's when I found <laughs> myself. I'm not trying to re-traumatize you, but people need to understand some of the things that you faced. I mean, they, they, they made comments about your hair. They made comments about how you skated and the routines that you wanted to do. You felt constricted and limited. You felt like, I don't know, because look, I can relate to this round hole trying to a square peg trying to fit in a round hole I'm betting is what you were you were feeling a bit like yeah it, it, it really was that and you know especially when you're trying to compete and you know judges and 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 federations they look at your certain way and and when you fit that mold you're rewarded for it that makes you think that you have to be someone else and who you are in order to be successful um, and that's a difficult journey to be on and then and then also you're thinking like, I don't even want to be at the party that I'm not getting an invitation to. That feels weird inside your soul too, doesn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. It's not a, it's not a comfortable place to be and no. I, I got rid of that and, and now I'm in a different space. But can I just say, there are people that spend a lifetime not getting to where you are. You have achieved freedom and you found freedom on these, these lakes in Canada, on these rivers, even on the ice rink that used to mean something different to you. I watch these and this is a man who is living authentically in his true self. Yeah, I, I really had to go on a journey of figuring out who I was as an artist, but also as a human being. And once I was able to bring those two together and really reconnect to my heart, um, I was able to then, you know, live what I'm living now, skating to what I want to skate to, hip hop music, rap, and, <laughs> and, and feel like I'm myself and I can, and I can share yeah. that and, and start modernizing the sport and, and making, it, making it cool again. Well, and that's, and that's at the heart of it, right? It, this isn't just an individual journey. There, part of it was an individual journey, but it's an individual journey that is widening the aperture. It's, it's allowing space for others, because by the way, you aren't the only one, and you're hoping also so that you won't be the only one. You're trying to break that glass ceiling. You're trying to create space for others. Like, come on in, guys. The water's beautiful. Let's do this together. Yeah, you know, I. it wasn't until I was 18 years old. Um, I was 18 when I saw for the first time a black male figure skater do his thing on the ice, and he was doing hip-hop. He was popping. He, was, he had this <laughs> raw energy. 
never seen before. And I was like, that's what I want to be. And but it took me 18 years to see that. And so I'm hoping to be the representation for those young black indigenous and people of color to believe that they can be themselves and they can be authentic yes. and, and that that can be celebrated. Yes, 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 yes. What I want is for kids to come up and say, I want to be like you. And I'm sure it's already happening. I, I know it is. OK, so talk to me about the Figure Skating Diversity and Inclusion Alliance. This sounds like a legit thing. This goes beyond just a guy in a dream. This is yes. you've actually formalized this to say we have to make this game this not this game this sport more inclusive to more people yeah well it started with the understanding and the realization that the black community in figure skating needed to heal um, we all had experienced things that were traumatic and whether you were in canada u.s france australia wherever you were in the world um, we all experienced similar things so we realized we needed to heal and and that's how we came up with this organization and we want to be able to heal ourselves but also help the next generation of skaters uh, step into an environment that can feel safe for them to be themselves and express themselves and we want to be able to do that on a global scale if only you had places where that could happen oh wait this is where we get to do a little breaking news with the lodge a big announcement that you just made today in fact I don't want to say it you tell the people what you just announced today that is going to make that dream more of a reality yeah, well, as I've been saying, I've been so passionate about changing the culture of figure skating. And there's a few things that are um, that come in as barriers on that path. And one is uh, obviously representation, cost of skating, but also accessibility. So I've been on a mission to change that. And I've been working really hard on a project. And uh, I launched the Skate Global Foundation. And essentially, the Skate Global Foundation is a nonprofit organization built on three pillars. One is equity, diversity, and inclusion, mental health, and climate change. And our first project, uh, we're partnering with Ellis Don, a construction company, and we're building and upgrading rinks across Canada in underserved communities. And that That's is amazing. where we're going to see the in so give sport. me an idea in your dream if it because you've already made dreams come true where would you see these ice rinks give me an example of where they would pop up and how they would be i mean you know me growing up in in montreal you know there was areas like cote neige um verdun you know areas where it's an understood community and communities don't have the funds to put up ice rinks for skaters to skate for yeah. free and so yeah. for me it would to be able to walk into these neighborhoods and to see a rink not only that exists but that is functional yeah. and that also welcomes the community so that the kids when they go there they can feel like this is their home and that's what i want to create first one's going up uh in uh, calgary alberta and um if i could just make a bid for some south of the border once you get the infrastructure set up in canada i know you have a fondness for this area so i, I know that you want to make sure that we get some representation here as well because we've got budding ice skaters out there trying to be the next elage ball day elage i hope to meet you in person one day to give you a giant hug for all you've been through all you're doing for others and the fact that you just bring me joy i could watch your and I can't honey my dad used to flood our backyard and we'd try to skate out there nothing compared to this brother right here on those blades uh, if you'd like more information on a lodge foundation this magic link right here will take you to all the information about what they're doing the big announcement from uh, Ellis Don and a lodge a lodge what a blessing you are thank you so much for being here today thank you for having me and since you're in the States right now enjoy Thanksgiving American Thanksgiving <laughs> I will. okay honey we'll be right back after a short